72, police raided a secret organization on the south side. Seven women arrested for performing abortions, which at the time were illegal. The group went by the nickname Jane. WGN's Alyssa Donovan has their story. Jane started here at the University of Chicago when one student asked another if they knew where to get an illegal abortion. That question led to a movement first to a referral service and then to an underground abortion clinic. Around 11,000 abortions were performed before a police raid in 1972. Because you know when abortion is illegal, it's not medicine, it's felony homicide. And so there were a lot of homicide uh, counts against us, the seven of us who were arrested. Um, I was one of the seven. Judith Arcana joined the abortion counseling service of the Chicago Women's Liberation Union in 1971. By then, it had been operating underground at the University of Chicago campus since 1969, first known as just the service and then Jane's. The woman who started it, um, when she was giving referrals on the phone, this was before the group actually existed, um, she told the people who um, called to ask for Jane, like Jane Doe, so that she wasn't actually giving away her own name. Arcana came in as a counselor. Women in need of an abortion would call a discreet number, and then she would call back and set up a time to meet. We'd have a cup of tea and you'd tell me about your situation. In the beginning, the members of the group would take care of logistics, connecting and driving patients to a male doctor for the procedure. But then they began doing the abortions themselves. Just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of women got that number, called that number, came to us and got a safe abortion from women who cared about them. Until their operation was raided by police on May 3rd of 1972. Arcana and six other women were charged with abortion and conspiracy to commit abortion. But months later, the Supreme Court's decision on Roe v. Wade legalized abortion, and the case against Arcana and her peers was dropped. The group disbanded, their services no longer needed. But now, with the overturning of Roe v. Wade, Arcana says she expects groups like hers will be popping up across the country. Many, many, many people need abortion health care. That's just a fact of life. It's been true for thousands of years. It's not going to change. Alyssa Donovan, WGN News. And ahead at 630, we're going to have a live report from outside the Supreme Court where protesters have been gathering all day since word came down and the company offering to reimburse workers who need to travel to obtain an abortion. Stay with WGN-TV and WGNTV.com for the latest on the battle over abortion rights. New